Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday night. It is the Earth Master out here about 11.06 p.m. California time, October 14th, 2024. By the way, member drawing being held tomorrow. So if you're not a member, jump on board so you can get entered into the fishbowl to win some prizes. Uh, latest activity, a 2.9 here across the, uh, looks like around the Costa Rica area. Let's go ahead and check out Southern California first here. Uh, notice a little bit of swarming going on here around the Salton Sea area. I've been watching this throughout the day today. I've been waiting to see if this is, uh, you know, stirred up into anything major. Uh, so far, only a swarm of about seven earthquakes, some twos and ones in there throughout the, uh, mainly throughout the last 12 hours or so. And a little bit of movement further to the west as well right now with a separate little swarm around the Brego Springs area. So I'm keeping an eye here on this area maybe for some further movement you know these little swarms here can uh, really stir things up out here across southern california uh, so it's something to watch pretty closely uh, nothing above 2.5 as far as the magnitude goes but uh, it's the multitude of quakes here in some various locations that we need to keep an eye on we'll watch this here it's not quite up to the san andreas fault it's only about uh about 10 miles or so south here of the San Andreas Fault where this little separate swarm's going on. So we'll definitely watch that. Uh, a little bit of movement here outside of the, uh, it's gonna be the, eh, the park field segment of the San Andreas Fault, looks like. A little 1.4. Nothing major going on through Northern California for now. A handful of earthquakes across Mount St. Helens. Let's go ahead and check out the, um, trimmer map here tonight see what we have Cascadia, Cascadia trimmer 78 epicenters here of trimmer mainly uh, well it's scattered it looks like here across the entirety of the uh, Cascadia nothing major uh, just 78 epicenters here that's down from yesterday's event uh, yesterday we've seen a couple hundred out here with 463 epicenters along the Cascadia subduction zone all right uh, see what else we have here across the Baja California area 4.2 early this morning that's about two o'clock in the morning so we'll keep an eye here on Southern California a little bit of migration the pressure here up the plate boundary as far as anything major going on out here uh, there's that deeper earthquake underneath North Island New Zealand they dropped that earthquake there from a 5.2 to a 4.8 157 miles deep though still fairly deep earthquake uh, since then it looks like a handful of earthquakes there in the area uh, around North Island, there are mainly threes in the magnitude scale. Typical movement here across the Western Pacific and adjacent plate here, the Filipino plate. Uh, a lot of older quake activity out here on the on the uh, globe. A lot of red rings indicating that older activity. Uh, minimal twos out there across the Mediterranean and a little bit stirring up out here north of Greenland and Iceland area with a 3.9 there on the plate boundary. Aside from that, the Atlantic Ocean is pretty darn quiet. But uh, we still get a little bit of swarming going on here across the Middle America Trench, southern end around the Costa Rica area. Of course, that is where the uh, larger earthquake struck here a few days back, 6.2. But uh, we're still getting uh, quite a bit of swarming going on there in that area. Uh, Yellowstone, nothing major going on, but let's just give a quick glance here, see what's up. Um, as we can see on the graphs here, not a whole lot showing up here. It looks like some wind events from earlier. Uh, Texas area, getting hit with these uh, out there in the oil fields. Nothing new out there. Uh, let's see here, Puerto Rico area. Looks like a handful of earthquakes there in the last 24 hours including a 4.3 dominican republic area big island of hawaii nothing major got uh, another earthquake out here around the lohi sea mount from uh looks like earlier this afternoon notice uh, a little bit of uptick out here stretching out towards that sea mount uh, lately but uh, nothing of any change going on here across the area as far as volcanic status goes but we'll continue to watch that uh, we're getting a little bit of flaring going on right now from the earth facing side sunspot right here notice that uh, bright feature on the uv image 
That is coming off of uh, a fairly complex sunspot. Notice a stair-stepping ladder event here uh, peeking up into the M-flare category. But this right here, the sign here, the signal, is a, uh, a definite reading of complexity going on within this core. Uh, and it looks like that wants to pop off a decent flare here. Now, there's only a 10% chance for X flare, but I think it's a little bit more elevated than that. Well, uh, it's going to be coming off of this sunspot area right down here. We'll keep an eye on that for maybe a large flare. I, you know, I don't know, potentially maybe an X flare, but uh, I think if anything, more of a upper M flare from that area. Aside from that, once this spot uh, continues to drift off to the western limb, we're left with a whole lot of uh, quietness. A couple different really weak sunspots out here, but really nothing major uh, going on there across the sun. Uh, it'd probably be quiet here for a couple days. Roar activity, really nothing in the forecast here. Maybe four to five on the KP index here. It looks like um, sometime on the 16th there, UTC time. That's going to be, uh, looks like maybe tomorrow night, a little bit of uh, amplification, but really nothing all that major at all, folks. Pretty quiet out there. All right, real quick glance here at the weather patterns. See if we got anything major going on out here across the tropics. Gulf of Alaska, pretty quiet. That's uh, This high pressure up here is keeping everything flattened and uh, away from the states here. Otherwise, that could pull some moisture in and create some hurricanes. But it uh, looks like that high pressure is doing a good job uh, preventing any tropical systems there from uh, reaching the states. Aside from that, man... I'd like to know what happened to our rainfall chances out here in California. Uh, we got some cooler temperatures coming in, but uh, that wet pattern, pattern I was looking at here around the 26 has disappeared. So it's uh, kind of interesting there how these patterns just kind of switch up. Let's see what we got. Low pressure out here across the West Coast coming in uh, midweek, it looks like. High pressure out in the Northern Plains. That uh, definitely going to bring some cooler temperatures out here. I'll, I'll, I'll appreciate that. I'd like to see some rain, but if not, I'll definitely go. I'll be okay with the the uh, lower temperatures. High pressure ridge starting to build back in here next weekend. Um, hopefully that stays away. I'm not really fond of the uh, high pressure ridging out here. Looks like that high pressure wants to stick around. Look at this massive ridge here across uh, Canada area and the northeast. That is a massive uh, massive high pressure ridge up there. Definitely going to be heating things up out there across the uh, Canada area. So we'll see how this plays out. Coming into uh, you know middle of October, things are going to be changing out here. Patterns are going to be shifting and whatnot all right um yeah for now that's all i got folks um hopefully you got a chance to get out there and see the comet just after sunset it's visible in the western sky uh it's climbing each night as well so uh, it's getting a little bit higher and higher up in the sky and uh, should get brighter here for about a week and then it's going to start uh getting a little bit uh dimmer each evening here so if you're going to observe the comet best thing to do is get out there very soon just after sunset and look to the west so i posted a bunch of pictures there on the uh youtube page and also uh, other social media accounts so pretty neat definitely pretty cool to see seismograph stations out there look pretty quiet i'm calling it a night folks have a good one uh keep an eye there on southern california and we'll catch you guys back out here in the morning